Welcome back. Well, the FBI taking center stage in the trial of the former Clinton campaign lawyer Michael Sussman. Cheryl Cassoni with all the details now. Cheryl. Well, Maria, a bombshell new document revealing FBI agents investigating the debunked Russia hoax believed the allegations came from the Justice Department. The opening of that initial investigation cited a referral from the DOJ of, quote, white paper, which alleged then candidate Trump was connected to Russia's Alpha Bank. But that referral was actually a story from former Clinton campaign lawyer Michael Sussman. He's now charged with lying to the FBI about who he was working for when bringing that story to them. The FBI's investigation ultimately found no collusion between Trump and the Kremlin. Well, masking up again, kids. Students and staff at Philadelphia schools once again required to mask up on school grounds and on buses. This decision coming after a city health department recommendation. Data showing Philadelphia experiencing a 41% increase in COVID cases. Well, Johnny Depp did not take the stand yesterday in his bitter $50 million defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife, Amber Heard. The move, apparently a last-minute decision by Heard's legal team. Depp's team plans on calling supermodel Kate Moss, who once dated Depp, to testify. That's going to be tomorrow. Moss expected to talk about how Depp carried her after she slipped while walking downstairs when the two were in Jamaica. Uh, Depp's legal team also planning on having him testify again tomorrow as a rebuttal witness. It all continues. And finally, this, Maria, this might be the craziest video we have seen from the skies, but it was on the ground. This is a United Airlines ground worker and former Denver Bronco getting into a brawl at Newark Airport. Yep, watch former wide receiver Brendan Langley start throwing punches. God. United firing the employee, saying it does not tolerate violence of any kind. Langley got charged with simple assault. Now this brawl reportedly broke out after Langley allegedly used a wheelchair to transport his luggage. Can't make this up, Maria. We're, nobody knows the identity of the, of the worker, though. That's the big one right now, to get his side of the story. But no, nobody knows how it started, because the video wasn't rolling. So much upset in the world. It's just so really crazy. Sad. Cheryl, thank you. Yeah.